Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your tarot and oracle card forecast for this week. As you know, this is strictly a general collective reading, and that means that not every single card may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All that other information is posted below this video as well and that includes my prices and what my services are for them. So my beautiful beautiful souls, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Pisces, my beautiful mermaids and merman, my beautiful fish of the sea. Last but not least, let's see what your forecast is for this week. Quickly doing a look at your cards here uh, that you have in your crowning energy, the lovers. Of course, we're going to get into that. We're going to clarify all of these, but some of you may be meeting somebody new. You may be rekindling and rejuvenating a long-standing relationship you're in now, and you are definitely going to be facing major choices and decisions to make. Coming in towards you, I can see that, you know, you've got the Knight of Wands charging in, going towards your goals, beating to your own drum. You you saw the light. You saw some truthfulness come into you, Pisces, in the past that made you go forward and prioritize what it is you wanted to do. And that was to see stability, probably in your businesses and the finance sector of your life. Pisces, you took a reassessment of your life, where it was, and you were given this beautiful gift of brand new start and beginning coming in and that led you to take this beautiful leap of faith to go towards your goals and you're making those fabulous accomplishments. So commend yourself, pat yourself on the back. You went charging in towards what it is you wanted to see and you accomplished it, what you wanted to achieve. Ace of Cups, you've got this beautiful feeling of love coming in, the flow of love towards you and the King of Wands standing in your power, being brave enough to go towards and see those accomplishments come to fruition. All right, let's start off with our reading, Pisces. I'm happy with this reading. It's amazing again here we have the lovers okay the lovers signifies of course maybe somebody new coming into you Pisces Pisces you're so romantic you tend to be the the sea sponge you zap all the energy that and you attract it be careful what you attract the good and the bad because you have that ability you take in the stray dogs you want to heal the world be careful that's all I'm saying keep your eyes open Pisces don't let your heart lead your head this time okay move forward yes you're the ultimate romantic but keep your your mind uh, focused and your head with you. Step into your intuition as well as your your experiences that you've learned from the past. But Pisces, this signifies big major decisions that you're going to be making. Life-changing decisions. For some of you, it could have to do with the financial part of your life, your business. For others, it could be what direction do you want to go? Are you going to turn around and go in a new direction? Are you going to be reaching out for something absolutely brand new in your life. Is it a new relationship you're going into? Is it something like that? But you're going to be making major, major decisions. You've got the four of pentacles coming in on top of the lovers. So don't hang on to the past. Be a little more open. Be Realize that, you know, you might be changing things up a bit. Maybe you're walking into some new type of a relationship and you might say, oh, they're not really my type. They're not really the type that I would be interested in. Pisces, open up be more open-minded don't be afraid don't be timid step into the power here okay you've got two very powerful kings coming in this reading the pentacles and the wands king here very powerful don't be afraid step up the world is a beautiful place and we're always curious to meet new energy out there now this is also about you and the way you you know the the way you spend your money or you save your money or the way you spend your energy or you don't use your energy productively the way you should. So Pisces, know that you can let loose here. 
keep your eyes open at brand new opportunities and options coming in maybe it's a, a you know an offer coming in to do with money an investment uh, you know being encouraged to do that be careful like I said take your head with you not just your heart but this is about you opening up not being so tight-fisted not being so rigid realizing that you can enjoy life by being a little more flexible it's okay to play it safe but Pisces you need to realize that this energy coming into you is saying loosen up a bit okay and here's coming in behind you the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is all about being brave and stepping up and moving towards your goals and beating to your own drum and being passionate and and energetic and excited about changes coming into you that you want to see happen Pisces you're never too old to learn a new trick right they say that they say you can't teach an old dog a new trick yes you can absolutely never be afraid Pisces to go towards your goals because that is your strength being willing to step out there being willing to put yourself out there to get noticed to go towards your goals stay authentic stay you know unique Pisces because that's who you are but you're out there and you can charge towards your goals this week the two of Pentacles being balanced make sure that you don't take on too much Pisces okay make sure that you're able to balance either your work life with your home life okay or your home life and your and your and your uh, you know your relationships as well but I always read this intuitively as well that you might be getting two options two offers two opportunities two choices two directions to go okay this is a gift this is fabulous step up and don't be afraid now the page of swords steps up and the page of swords brings you know pages are messengers they bring us good news bad news whatever this particular page is a sword you might be hearing about something in a legal matter contracts partnerships something that you need to sign that needs to be documented or it could be the fact that you heard something that liberated you you stepped up into your power justice was done and you said I heard the truth I saw the truth the truth set me free okay being able to move forward with that Pisces oh twice and on top of this you got the chariot you achieved something you fought hard you went out into the arena and you got noticed for the hard work and effort that you applied to something it was difficult for you Pisces to move forward in this direction but you did it regardless you took the lead okay Pisces you stepped up and now you're gonna you, you're a champion now Pisces you're gonna see success coming into you some of it will be in your home life your your relationships your work you know your the, the the you know the financial sector of your life but pat yourself on the back Pisces for all the hard work that you've been doing and look what you got on top of that you get the king of pentacles fantastic leadership in finances seeing improvement in finances your business your job sector the effort that you apply and and you have invested in is bringing you in a stronger firmer more positive financial part of your life now this could be somebody you're dealing with this particular King of Pentacles could be somebody that's here to assist you you know could be <clears throat> could be a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn coming in that is in leadership when it comes to money your banker your financial advisor okay someone who's there to guide you but Pisces this is the Midas touch card this king puts his hands to anything and turns it into gold and you are applying the energy the efforts and the investment into something that's going to bring you your financial success keep up the good work the magician it absolutely you're being shown now karmically divinely spiritually that you have the time effort support and the resources now to make your life happy make your success come into you remember Pisces you're the sea sponge you're sucking in all the energy so think positive make your investments work out for you for your greater good some of you might even be getting some unexpected resources coming in maybe you're going to be getting a check that you didn't expect maybe you're getting an inheritance that you didn't expect maybe you're getting a windfall that you didn't expect but Pisces you're gonna get it this is absolutely fabulous fabulous energy 
you've been given a second chance. You know, you dealt with that judgment moment, didn't you? You dealt with that tower moment, didn't you? You dealt with that three of swords moment, didn't you? All of those cards have been coming up in the past. Not in this reading, Pisces, because you were given, you saw the light, you were given the gift of moving on in a new direction. Rebirth. Being able to be enlightened again, being able to know that you're free to work towards your goals without anybody or any energy holding you back. Ah, fabulous. There you go, Ace of Pentacles. Doors opening, new pathways, lighting up, getting the gift of opportunity. Maybe you're getting the gift of building up your clientele. Maybe you're getting the gift of, you know, opening up a brand new business and seeing that happen. Maybe you're getting the gift of finances coming into you, the improvement therein. Opportunities, job offers, you know, maybe a raise hike, maybe a promotion. Pisces, you've got all of this wonderful, wonderful energy coming into you. So don't be afraid. Take that leap of faith. Some of you already have, and that's why you're seeing success and fruition and abundance coming into you because you weren't afraid to step up and do that. You were t on the teeter-totter. You had energy pulling you in one direction and you were wanting to go in another. And once you let go, you were able to soar and fly towards your goals to see the success come in. This is being sent to you karmically telling you that now is the perfect time to take your leap of so don't be afraid my beautiful elusive fish go swimming strong towards your goals you're going to see the fruition come in some of you know there's a new direction eight of cups staying focused staying balanced staying aligned and knowing you're on the right path you know there's a new direction that's better for you is it in a relationship Pisces is it moving away from a relationship that didn't help you grow expand and move forward or is was it a job that bored you was it you know this pandemic that made you have to realize that you had to change things and go towards brand new things out there absolutely and you're going to you're going to see it come to fruition Pisces it's taking time maintain your stability okay maintain your balance here we talked about balance with the two of Pentacles as well the chariot absolutely it's come up twice as well coming in towards you and coming in behind you Pisces you're accomplishing great feats stay focused stay balanced go towards your goals take that leap of faith don't be afraid make those decisions that are going to work out for you they're going to be life-changing Pisces all for the better going out there being brave stepping out into your arena and charging towards your goals and accomplishing them queen of pentacles she gives birth to her dreams she has this ability to put herself in her court shoes and be sympathetic loving and you know uh, you know have empathy have consideration she's emotional but she keeps her wits and her emotions about her she knows she can give birth to her dreams because she nurtures herself takes care of herself and then goes out there to service and help others and you're doing that Pisces Pisces you're the you're the innate natural healer you want to heal the whole world and because of it we we get we we drink in we suck in all that energy you know and then we 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 have to deal with it we can't heal everybody though Pisces okay realize that but I see you're going to be giving birth to something something beautiful perhaps some of you are actually having a child there's going to be a child brought into your home life you know but I see it as giving birth to your dreams one way or the other here Pisces and you're the champion here Ace of Cups, feeling the wonderful emotion, the wonderful, wonderful emotion of love, okay? Feeling love all around you, Pisces. This is what this Ace is about, bringing you in that energy, realizing that you're worthy of having this feeling. It's love and deep feelings. Some, for some of you, it's intimate and, and, new, <clears throat> and new romance coming into you. It could be the marriage of, uh, it could be, you know, the marriage of minds or, you know, actually a marriage coming into some of you stay in touch with your feelings Pisces stay in touch with your feelings because this is all about beautiful loving emotion around you you might be getting closer to a friend or a lover or a family member okay <clears throat> wanting to help 
or they're coming in to help you Pisces. You want a deeper connection with yourself, with the universe, and with someone. This is beautiful. It could be infatuation with someone or something, but it's all good news. You had the lovers here, Pisces. Somebody's coming in. <coughs> now, on top of this beautiful Ace of Cups, you've got the Seven of Wands. And this is about you pushing forward, not being afraid, not giving up, okay? Knowing that you have this ability to keep forward motion. You've had some difficulties in the past, Pisces. We've talked about that. Eight to ten years ago, some of you, it goes way back. But everything's shifting now. Everything changed in your life. And for some of you, it happened in the year 212. Okay, 2012. 2012, yeah. And you saw a shift. For others, it was different times. But you have shifted and you're moving forward. This is your time, Pisces. Everybody's telling us this. And it's because we've learned to put ourselves first. We've learned to get rid of what doesn't help us grow, expand, and move us forward in a positive direction. We've realized that we have the strength to do what it is we want to do. Don't give up, Pisces. This is showing me you're working towards those goals. And now you've got the king of wands, being brave, stepping up doing what it is you want, taking command, taking the leadership of your life. That's what this is about, taking leadership here, moving forward, knowing that you can make things happen, being powerful. And in the process, you inspire others, Pisces. You're a role model now for some people. You're not afraid to take a risk anymore. And you've stepped up into your confidence. You've learned from your mistakes and you've taken stock of your limitations. You've gained new abilities and you're now able to draw on that power and move forward, Pisces. Go for it. Twice. King of Wands, King of Wands. Yeah, Pisces. Mirror image of the strength that you are developing. The changes that you've done and made for the better. Did you change things in the way you run your business? Did you change things in the way you, you, you uh, encourage and you heal and you communicate with your relationships? Pisces, you've probably done a lot of those things, but now you've stepped up into your confidence level. Now you're gonna see the fruits of your labor come in. Now you're gonna see success, achievement, positivity fabulous Pisces wow okay <clears throat> let's see what we have for our first theme card you've been given surrender to play take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation oh Pisces don't be afraid step up enjoy your life it's your time now to shine share some of your success with other people Okay, get out there and live and enjoy. Yes, albeit we have to be careful. We have to, you know, we have to, uh, you know, re have, we have restrictions out there to keep our, all, all ourselves safe. But fun can be in anything, Pisces. It can be done indoors. It can be outdoors. Whatever it is you choose to do, Pisces, this is your karmic message from the universe and the divine. Start having some fun. You've got insecurity. Some of you are still feeling this way. I don't know why. Take a look at your reading. If you're putting the effort into what it is you need to do, you're going to find that you're going to have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beginning happening here. Don't be insecure. Okay? The greatest adversity is the one living inside of ourselves. How we feel and think about ourselves. Okay? Do you listen to your fear? Or do you listen to your courage? Okay, this is all about miraculous changes coming into us. Life is always going to take a turn for the better when we face our demons. Stay on course. Trust that an ally will appear. The gift of adversity is never given without the ability to overcome it. So we never get given what we can't get through, right? So stay free. Stay brave. And work towards your success. Be courageous. That's what this is all about. Don't live in your own head of doubt, okay? 
you've got peaks of joy we talked about surrendering to play now you're going to see some joy you're going to have reason to to you know your life's filled with happiness so share it with others i talked about that getting out there joy is yours right now pisces it's coming into you you're going to be able to enjoy it and share it with those that you care about in your circle and i do see that some of you are surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. And know something else. Joy is contagious. Spread it out there. Okay, enjoy whatever it is that you want to do. Take a walk, listen to the birds, scratch a kitty's head, play with a dog, look at a baby, and be in awe of life. And it's going to lead you to a true sense of bliss. Be alive, be grateful, and know that happiness is an inside job right it's an inside job enjoy pisces okay your only card here <laughs> from the tea leaf messages that might be a warning is the cat a two-faced friend well pisces you're the healer you know you 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 repel any kind of <clears throat> confrontation you don't like to do that so in in you know, so what happens to you, Pisces, is you end up staying in toxic relationships or toxic friendship because you don't want to believe that things can be, you know, different, right? You want to believe that everything in your magical imaginary world, that everything is so perfect and beautiful. Well, Pisces, sometimes you get your fingers burnt, right? Uh, you don't want to get involved in a cat fight with anybody. But just keep your eyes open. There could be somebody around you. Or I think this might have been in the past because you've had the Three of Swords a lot. You had the Tower card a lot in the past. I think you've learned from this situation and you've grown from it. And you've removed it. And that's what I'm seeing here. Well, my beautiful Pisces, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today. And a beautiful optimistic week here because you've got it coming in. Pisces, you haven't had a bad reading in so long. And that's because you've put your effort and you've invested in what's the best for you. And look how far you've come. Everything you've gotten through. All the times you've have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't. All the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was. And all the times you wanted to give up, but you didn't. You got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenging times that have led you to where you are now. And this is all because the universe and the divine, your higher power, wanted to see you succeed and find your happiness and peace. So continue to surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I send my continued blessings and prayers that you stay in good spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical health. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.